Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving x times x power x equal to 72. We will take up this problem by two methods. First one using exponent and exponent properties. Second one is using log. We will end up this video using Desmos graph also. We will conclude few conclusions from there. But before that, I will consider one interesting thing of this equation. Let me write, let me divide this equation by x. So equation will be 6 power x is equal to 72 over x. Okay. Now when x is positive, see what will happen. Left hand side is positive. Right hand side is positive. Conclusion is solution is there. Confirm. Left hand side is positive. Why? Because of it is exponential function 6 power x. So it would be always positive if you see the graph. It is always positive. Right hand side when x is positive it is positive. Now come to x is negative. Left hand side would be positive always. But right hand side once x is negative it would be negative. Conclusion is in this case we won't get any solution. So no solution in that case. So conclusion is we will get solution when x is positive. So one thing is clear x must be positive. Okay what about x equal to 0? Left hand side is 0, right hand side is constant which cannot be possible. So x equal to 0 there won't be any solution. No solution at x equal to 0. Okay, so conclusion up to this point x positive, we will have one solution or solution. Okay, now conclude, let us consider left hand side as one function. So let me find out derivative of LHS. So fx is equal to x6 power x. Let's find out f dash x. It would be the derivative by chain rule we will solve this problem. f dash x would be 6 power x. The derivative of x is 1 plus x the derivative of 6 power x is 6 power x ln 6 when x is positive this value would be always positive okay because 6 power x cannot be negative 6 power x ln 6 cannot be negative only x can be negative but one once x is positive this value would be always positive now see second right hand side it is it is lhs now see what will happen to the RHS. RHS is constant function as you can see. Fx is 72. Find out f dash x. It would be 0. Fx is constant. So one function left hand side you, you have got function increasing. Right hand side you have function constant. So there would be there at most one solution be there. Okay. Let's find out solution which is one only unique solution, single solution. Using exponent, first method. So how we can write this equation? x into 6 power x, I can write 72 as 36 times 2. Okay, next step I would write 2 times, I am not going to touch the left hand side, I am just writing the right hand side. 36 we can write 6 square. Now you can see x times 6 power x. If I will consider only just by compare or consider the left hand side this way, you can conclude x equal to second method. The exponential method is quite easy. Once you can factorize 72 in such a way, if we can write in this form. Now come to logarithmic method. Let's take ln both sides. So ln x times 6 power x equal to ln 72. ln ab. I will write ln a plus ln b. We know the property of ln. ln ab can be written as ln a plus ln b. So ln 72. 
Now I can write this ln6 power x as x ln6. Let me write ln x plus x ln6 equal to ln72. Okay. Now we will do exponentiation both sides. What does it mean? I will put the base e and the written is exponent. I will write e raised to the power ln x plus x ln 6 equal to e raised to the power ln 72. Now we know that e raised to the power ln x is x. So right hand side would be 72. Left hand side I will write e power ln x times e power x ln 6. Okay. Now I can write e power ln 6. This would be x. Okay, let me write x times e raised to the power x ln 6 equal to 72. Okay, now this is something which we know in the Lambert w. x times e raised to the power x equal to a then we can write x is equal to lambda w function a. This is a standard form of lambda. So what I need actually ln 6. See this is power. So it is x ln 6. Right now we are having x. So I will multiply both sides by ln 6. Okay. Now our equation will become x ln 6 times e raised to the power x ln 6 equal to 72 ln 6. Now see this is same. So let me write x ln 6 equal to lambda w function 72 ln 6. So x will come out w function lambda w function 72 ln 6 over ln 6. If you will find out that value, this value is coming out. So, our ultimate solution is x is equal to 2. We calculated from logarithmic also using lambda w application. See the graph. Check 6 raised to the power x. I have taken x towards right. So, it is 72 over x. This is hyperbola. This blue color. Now you can say C for x negative in this domain. For x negative, there is no intersection with red graph and blue graph. So no solution in this interval. Okay, right hand side you can see. In this interval, you can see function is going. This part of hyperbola for x positive, it will give us only one intersection. One function is monotonic decreasing, another is monotonic increasing. At most one intersection we will get. This is how we can find out using graph also. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video. Bye bye.